Hi everyone, Vincenzo here with a new ukulele tutorial. This week let's learn how to play Boulevard of Broken Dreams by Green Day. First of all, let me tell you the chords that you need for this one. They are E minor, G, D, A and B7. There's also an E flat, but that's needed only if you want to play the outro of the song too. As always, let me show you the chord shapes and of course if you already know them, simply skip this part. So. E minor, G, D, A, C, B7, and E flat. Let's start working on the strumming patterns. In this ukulele tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you the entire song, and so you're gonna be looking at more than one strumming pattern. By the way, I'm going to be teaching you this a half step down from the original key, as it works better on the ukulele this way. In the description, I put a link of the song a half step down, so that if you want, you can play along with the record. Now, let's get started with the verse, which, by the way, it's the same as the intro. The strumming pattern for the verse goes like this. Three, four. Down, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Again. Down, down, down. Let's do it one more time. Three, four, down, 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 up, up, down, down. This is the chord progression for the verse and it's also the main chord progression of the song. Let me tell you, this is a very common chord progression that you can find in many other songs. Going back to Boulevard of Broken Dreams, each chord will last for two beats. So you will play two chords within one strumming pattern, like this, E minor, G. Now let's follow the chord progression using the strumming pattern you've just learned. Three, four, E minor, G, D, A, E minor, G, D, A, E minor, G, D, A, E minor, G, I want to show you an alternative way of playing this. So we go back to the verse strumming pattern, but on the third down stroke, you play a muted chord, like I just did. Let's do it again. Three, four, down, down, muted, up, up, down, 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 muted, up, up, down, down. This is a nice way to diversify what you're playing in the intro from what you're playing in the verse. In fact, you could be using this strumming pattern for the intro and the one I showed you before for the verse. Let's do it one more time. Three, four, down, down, muted, up, up, down, 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 muted, up, up, down, down. Again, slowly, three, four, down, down, muted, up, up, down, 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 muted, up, up, down, down. To play the muted chords, I'm resting the pinky over the strings. I'm not pressing, I'm resting lightly. Let me follow the chord progression using this alternative strumming pattern. Three, four, E minor, G, D, A, E minor, G, D, A, E minor, G, Time for the chorus. The strumming pattern for this is very simple. It goes like this. Three, four. Down, 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 down. Again. Down, 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 down. Eighth notes and you strum everything down. Pretty much the same thing the guitars are doing in the song. Let's do it one more time. Three, four. Down, 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 down. This is the chord progression for the chorus. Like before, each chord will last for two beats. This is repeated three times, and the fourth time it changes to this. As you can see, instead of D and E minor, we have B7. For B7, you're gonna be strumming down three times, one, two, three, and then wait for one beat. 
Now, let me play the entire chorus so that you understand better how it works. Three, four, C, G, D, E minor. C, G, D, E minor. C, G, D, E minor. C, G, D7. Now, B7, two, three, wait, and back to the verse. Once you know the intro, the verse, and the chorus, you know pretty much the entire song. But if you want to play it all, you're missing the outro. This is the chord progression for the outro, and the strumming pattern goes like this. Three, four, down, 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 down. You play two chords within one strumming pattern, by the way. So, the very two last chords of the outro, they go like this. Of course, you only need to learn this if you want to play it as it is on the record. However, this would be a very good practice for you. So my suggestion is to try it out. Now, let me play the entire outro for you. Three, four. To have a play along. I'm gonna be playing intro, verse, chorus and outro and then you can decide how to arrange your own cover of Boulevard of Broken Dreams. For the intro I'm gonna be using the alternative strumming pattern I showed you before. By the way I will have the riff and the guitar solo in the background. I'm gonna be teaching you these parts straight after the play along. If you're still watching, let me show you quickly a riff that is played quite a lot throughout the song and the guitar solo. So let's start from the riff. I'm talking about this one. And I added this part that is played by the piano. Let's see one more time. Three, four, one. So let's break it down. You start with fret number two on the second string, hammer on to fret number three. Then two, pull off to the open string. Then again, a hammer on from two to three. Then five, three, pull off to two, and you end on fret number four. Let's put everything together. Three, four, one. Again, three, Four, one. 
This is played quite a lot in the song, and if you like to record more than one ukulele for your covers, this is a great part to include. Let's work on the solo. This is played in octaves, so you play two notes at the same time, and for this part you're playing 16th notes all the way through. So, let me play it for you. Again. Let's break it down. You start with 4-7 for 4 times. My right hand is moving down, up, down, up. The right hand is going to be doing this all the time for this part. So I'm strumming all the strings, but I'm just playing the third and the first string. The other two are muted. If you find this hard, use the thumb and the index. It's the same. Going back to the solo, you then have 6-9 twice. Then 7, 10, 6 times, and then 11, 14 twice, and then 9, 12 twice. Let me play this first measure so that you understand how it works. 3, 4. You carry on, and for the second measure, you have 9, 12 for 4 times, then 6, 9 twice and then 7, 10, 10 times. Let's play the entire second measure now. 3, 4. Now I'm gonna put together the first two measures. 3, 4. This is repeated for three times. Let's play it again. Three, four. Second time. Third time. After this, you play the first measure one more time, and then you have 11, 14 for 25 times. Let me play this for you. 3, 4, 11, 14. Let me play the entire solo slowly at 64 BPM. 3, 4. The aim of this tutorial was to give you an overview of Boulevard of Broken Dreams so that you can put together your own cover of it. On my Patreon page, you can find the chord chart, the tabs and the backing tracks that you need for practicing this. We have three backing tracks, one at the original tempo, one slower and another one even slower. And don't forget that if you learned something from this video and you would like to say thank you, you can buy me a coffee, link in the description. That's all for now. Let me know in the comments if you managed to learn Boulevard of Broken Dreams. And by the way, if you want to take your playing to the next level, make sure to check out the links in the description to learn more about the types of classes that I've got available at the moment. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my new tutorials. Having said that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week. Ciao!